I'll show you how to use the VWAP indicator in TradingView. Within your trading view, get the chart of the asset that you want to analyze, and then up at the top, click Indicators, and search for VWAP, Volume Weighted Average Price. Click this one, up in the top left, the indicator is now live, but we need to change a lot of the settings. So what VWAP shows us is the price of the asset weighted by how much volume is traded at that price. So let's take an example of one day where the price traded at 100 and 105,000. 90% of the volume was traded at 105,000, only 10% at 100,000. The VWAP is gonna weight the model and the indicator more towards the 105,000 because that's where most of the volume was traded. So it hopefully gives us a more accurate indicator of where the market is actually trading. Because if most of the volume is done at a certain price, that is a more reliable price and a more reliable indicator to where the, uh, the market actually is. We can also see this, so if we go to indicators here, you can search for volume, just the normal volume indicator here. Down at the bottom, you can see where volume is traded. So the more volume that is traded at a certain price, the VWAP is going to be a magnet towards that price itself, giving us more accurate price data. Changing some of the settings and inputs of the VWAP can completely change the indicator. So let's come into the settings and see what we can do. We'll go down to settings here. And then the first thing we want to change is the anchor period. The anchor period is essentially where the VWAP indicator is starting from. Because what you're looking at is a volume weighted average price for some session or from some point. Now you can choose literally the start point of the asset. If you go to decade or century, it's going to be starting every decade and having that as an anchor and then looking at the volume weighted average price from each decade. It's not gonna to be too useful probably though, right, if you're trading. So we come way down and you're probably looking at maybe a month or a week. You can choose the session as well. So if you're day trading, you may want to look at the VWAP for that session. Let's choose a week and you can see that each week that is the anchor period or the starting point for the calculation of the VWAP. And of course, it's going to much more closely track the actual price of the asset at this point. So choose a week or a month. Now, if you're choosing a slightly longer anchor period, that's going to smooth out some of the price movements, uh, which may give us a little bit of a better indicator because what we're looking at, right, is the volume weighted average price versus the actual price and then trying to get signals to trade with. So you can uh, muck around with this as to how you want. If you're trading very short term, then you're gonna be wanting to go down in the anchor period, right? Month, week, maybe even session. If you're looking at longer term time horizons, uh, investing, you're probably looking at week, month, quarter, yearly maybe. I think decade and forward probably aren't gonna be very helpful. Another setting we can choose is the time frame that the VWAP is on. So if we go back into settings, uh, what we can see is that automatically the time frame is on the charts time frame. That means that whatever the chart time frame is, you can see I'm on the daily chart here, the VWAP is also a daily VWAP. We're gonna change that to something like a week and it should smooth out the VWAP for us, as you can see here. So it gives us a more smoothed out version of the VWAP, even though because the anchor period is the weekly, it's still going to um, chart the actual price very closely. We can also change that to maybe a monthly and then change this out to monthly as well. And you get a more smoothed out version of the uh, the price, which can be good if you're looking at multiple time frames, right? So what you wanna be doing is looking at the slightly longer term VWAP and then looking at shorter time horizon price movements within that to maybe give some trading signals. How would we actually use the VWAP to give us some trading signals or entry points? So here's how I would use it. Go to indicators, get your VWAP on. In my settings, I've got weekly anchor period, weekly time frame. Now, what I'm gonna do is go to the daily time frame on Bitcoin, the asset that I'm trading. And the reason is I wanna get entry points. So daily for Bitcoin, and then the VWAP is on weekly, giving me a slightly smoothed out version of events. Now, what I'm also going to do is put a moving average on there. So just a simple moving average here, click that on. And then in settings, I'm going to put the 50 uh, period moving average, right? So this is a 50 day moving average. You can see the settings here, length is 50. And the time frame is the chart, which is on a daily. So that's a 50 day moving average with the weekly VWAPs. Now from here, what I'm going to do is actually turn off the price chart and hide it. And then what I want to look for is trading signals where the VWAP is crossing through the 50 period moving average. You can see the VWAP is charting the price a little bit more closely and it's charting the actual volume traded as well, which hopefully gives us an idea of where the market is trying to move to and I just wanna look at signals. So you wanna look at crossovers here, right? So we have this uptrend here, right? Which is very clearly an uptrend. You have a slight pullback there 
and you can see a crossover again. Now, of course, if you're in a bull market and your bias is bullish, you want to be looking for bullish crossovers. And so this is a bullish crossover. Whether you go in on the drawdown or wait for the bullish crossover, it's up to you, but you get a good move there. Now you can see consolidation or kind of sell off, right, where the VWAP is moving back through the 50 period to the downside. So that shows that the market is looking to churn through some uh, price action here. It's quite weak that you try and break out here, but there's no follow through. You actually get rejected from this resistance line. Again, a lot of choppy trade, but it's not very bullish price action because both the 50 period and the VWAP are kind of moving sideways or down. But you actually get a breakthrough here. So another potential signal. You can actually wait. You can see we've got a bounce here up again. We moved into resistance starting to break through. This is maybe the start of a you know, just a re-rating of the price, which happened, right? So you get trading signals there. When you get these trading signals at these prices, you can then go to your trading system, put in your buy and sell orders uh, pretty easily at those prices and, and try and, uh, you know, trade those price movements. I'll use some links below to the exchanges I use. On Apex, you can get a fee discount permanently. On Bybit, you can get a big deposit bonus. I'll leave those links below. If you want the pro version of TradingView, I'll leave that link below in the description as well. I'm James, it's Money DG. Cheers for watching and I'll see you in the next one.